Right, so today I am finally collecting my RS6 after I've owned it for about three months and it's been in, in the garage getting fixed for the whole three months that I've owned it. So I've driven it, I think, twice, maybe three times since I've owned it. Um, so it's all done now. Uh, it is quite an exciting day for me, as you can imagine. And um, today, the plan is, well, today I've got quite a lot of plans today. I plan on filming three videos today. Um, be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting an Uber from my house to VRS in Northampton to collect the Audi RS6. Hi BMW. Here it is, taxi, taxi. Yeah, out of the darkness I rose up. Gold in my soul, it's a gold rush. Yeah, yeah. Honor and freedom, my toast up. Kicking game on the snare drum. Sorry, there, there, there. VRS is called. That's it. Finally, we're here. That's it. Yeah, I've got everything. Oh, another camera. Thank you, yeah. Cheers, man. Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and stole us, yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But Yanti prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness greatness, look up in LeBron home. Remember next time for you doubt us. That only made me go John Jones. HGH, I got the shortcut. Got on my side, you got bad luck. Look at how they all doubt us. Yeah, they doubt us, yeah. Right, oh man, this is it. First drive of my car in three months. So let me just remind you of what stage we're at in time right now. This car, I bought it about three months ago and I drove it for about two days, maybe three days at the most, and it didn't fully break down. It just run like a bag of nails, yeah? And um, what i done is a straightaway VRS Northampton. Give, give Will a shout. I thought, Will, my car's not running right. He said, just get it on a trailer and get it up to me. So it turned out it needed an injector. And one little injector, obviously it's a tiny little thing, but to do that injector, it was about 20 hours labor. The engine had to come out, bit of a palaver. Uh, then we discovered the ECU was broken. I know I'm repeating a lot of stuff. And, but anyway, long last, the engine's all back together. It's now been retuned. We're running at just over 700 bhp and it's apparently better now than it's ever been. We've got an Armatrix downpipes under, we've got Armatrix downpipes under the bonnet, and um, yeah, first drive. So, first things first, let's start the engine. Sounds bloody ridiculous, doesn't it? Um, I'm gonna mess around, we'll get it in drive, we'll just head off on a journey and we'll talk about my first impressions of it. Feels so strange. Feels so strange being back in this car. <laughs> it feels so different to the M135i. Obviously, obviously it would. I know that, but it's um, obviously I've, I've become so used to driving that car daily, and this is just different machine altogether it obviously it feels big as well it just feels m massive but yeah not just the size of it it just i don't know different almost a different quality it's just a beast of a car man um i don't actually know where i'm going i need petrol i think that's the first drop i need to get petrol but i won't drive it too hard till it's warm but yeah, it's just nice, just a nice car. It feels so big and bold and beastly. Let me get petrol first and um, we'll get on with the drive. Do you know what, I just had the car cleaned and uh, obviously just filled it up with fuel and I was looking at it as I filled it up with fuel and I thought, just looks so bloody good. And obviously we ain't had it on the channel for so long, so I thought before we go on a little drive in it, let's just get a proper little look at the outside of it on the channel. So. Um, the spacers, obviously I've not like soaked this in, the spacers have just changed the look of it. So it's got like a bit more of a stance look. And if you walk around the back, let's have a little quick wander around the back. Just looks <laughs> like a mental car, doesn't it? Um, the whole silver pack thing, I wanted to quickly talk about that as well. Cause this car was specced with a silver pack. So it's got the polished wheels. It's all the silver bits in the bumpers. The, the brushed, uh, brushed aluminium uh, wing mirrors the roof bars and obviously the silver bits around the back as well. Now I thought about changing that all to black, going for the whole black pack look. But, you know what, after when you see this car in front of you, it just looks, 
it looks so fresh and obviously the original rs cars it was like they're always blue with silver stuff on them so it kind of makes it look so original so i'm really torn with what to do about that not to say the black pack don't look good because the black pack does look bloody brilliant but <laughs> it just feels a bit criminal to paint it black but um yeah before we went on the first drive i thought i'd just get out just jump out show you around it and also get a little thumbnail shot for the video so we'll jump in now and go for a drive <laughs> do you know what something else is a bit crazy about this car when you start the engine yeah so just a little touch of the start button no throttle by the way literally just press the start button listen to this let me i can't do the windows it does like a little <laughs> proper big rev as you start. Let me undo the window, stop the engine, and do that again. Listen to this. And uh, if you've got anyone within like a few meters from you, they'll just look at you like, what are you revving your car for? But it's just a car that does it on its own. So with the whole Army Tricks Miltech setup, it's, uh, trust me, it's bloody noisy. So um, let's go for a drive, yeah? Even when you're gentle with the throttle of this car, it makes so much noise. See, just as the revs pick up, just as the revs pick up, it kind of just seems to, it, may, it is a valve exhaust, so maybe the valve's open at a certain point in the rev range, but it is definitely the loudest car I've ever driven, and I've not actually put my foot down it yet. Annoyingly, it is like early in the morning, so it's kind of rush hour traffic-ish, 10 in the morning. Um, so I'm not that currently getting that much of a chance to put my foot down. It looks like there's a bit of traffic ahead as well, so I'll switch back on in a sec, all right? <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's so much more like, you can imagine, obviously it's a V8 engine, so in comparison to the uh, to the M135, I know I'm going to continuously compare it to that because that's what I've been driving. Uh, it's, a, it's a different machine, not, not even putting the M135 down because I love driving that thing, but it's, a, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is bloody ridiculous, and the the M135 bike is fun, and it's a it's a different um, it's a different drive altogether. This thing is in a different league, and uh, the sounds could probably get a bit much, I reckon. Being completely honest with you, we are currently in dynamic mode. It'd be interesting to see if I uh, switch it to comfort, say, to see if the valves close. So it's like in comfort mode. Still stupidly noisy in comfort as well. Maybe a tiny bit quieter, but I don't know. I'll leave it in for the purpose of this video, but it is uh it crackles as well when you let off. Mental car. <laughs> It's obviously nice to um, finally be in the driver's seat a bit because it's been a long time and you know what I'm like, I'm quite a positive guy and I don't really care that it's gone wrong. It has been a good bit of drama for social media as well, so um, all in all it's been quite a fun experience. It did cost a bit of money as you can imagine, but do you know what, at least now I know the car is perfect. There is, there is nothing wrong with it. And regarding the sound, you know what, as well, I love a noisy car. I love a car that's just, you know, this is what I'm about. It is stupid to some people. Some people think you're crazy driving a car that's this noisy, but do you know what? <laughs> I love that sort of stuff. So, let's get past this car. Power-wise, um, it's the fastest car, I can't remember the last time I drove a car faster than this is, I don't know, I must have done, have I? I don't know, is it comparable to the GTR? It'd be interesting to see, um, I don't know, that's a good video actually, and maybe I can still get my hands on my old GTR, and uh, be quite a good draggy race I reckon, 
one GTR versus my RS6. I might actually try and make that happen, but yeah, it's um. <laughs> When you combine the sound, the power delivery, the V8 engine and the fact that it's just a high quality, high end car, it really is a seriously exciting thing to drive. 700 brake horsepower man, like, <laughs> cars don't really get much better than that today, love the sound. So I think, I was going to say I'm going to leave it as that, but I'm not going to just leave it as that because I want to talk more about the sound, it's sort of, I think that's my first noticeable difference, it's hard, my first noticeable change or difference between when I last drove it, but it is hard to um, kind of compare it to how I how I thought or how I remembered it because like I'm saying as well, like, I've barely driven this car so I can't even <laughs> say if it drives loads better than it did before. It just feels absolutely perfect. It's certainly a lot noisier and a few more pops and bangs and crackles here and there and it just feels how a car should be. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I hope you lot are glad to to see it back on the channel. Like I said, there is going to be more, tran more content coming on this car. I've got no exact or rigid plans with it. I think something else I was going to mention is I'm going to swap the number plates. I might put the RSL plate on the uh, the M135i and then my diary plate that I had on my GTR on this. So that's just an idea because I f just feel like, I don't know why, I feel like the diary plate is more suited to this car. Although this is a uh, an RSL type of car, I just feel like maybe the the uh, M135 is a bit more of a, um, I was going to say Asbo, this is proper Asbo isn't it? I don't know, I don't know, it's just a thought. So yeah, I'm going to leave it as that, that's my first drive of my Audi RS6 after however many months, I think it's been three or four months, I don't know how many months it's been, been but yeah, I'm keeping it, it ain't going nowhere, got plenty more content coming. I am shouting, like literally I have to talk with high volume in this car because it is that noisy but I hope you like this video, if you did like the video obviously hit the thumbs up button, give me a like and if you're new to my channel and you want to see more on this car, my m 135 or general sort of tuning, I do car trading, all sorts of stuff, do hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload and I'll see you in the next video. Oh before you go, I need to give a final shout out to BRS in Northampton. The guy Will is an absolute genius of a guy and I can't recommend or rate him enough, all right? So if you need to get your car tuned, he's in Northampton, give him a shout, all right? See you later. In the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, now that the RS6 is fixed, the best place to take it is Santa Pod. And that's what's coming next. Okay.